Hello, Hello Junior, Junior Wildcats. Wildcats. Hope you're doing great. I'm with Officer Second Class Mustafa. And Franco Ponce George. And today we are here for a very special reason. Have you guys ever wondered when and how to properly wear your field training uniform? Also called as FTU. So continue watching this video to know how to wear your uniform like a master. Also, stick till the end because we have some awesome footage to show you. Your FTU is composed of four different items. Your headdress, your shirt, your trousers, and your boots. You will have to wear them differently depending on the type of training that you are having. C5A. If it's summer and it's hot outside, just wear your blue squadron t-shirt, beret, trousers, and boots. And of course, don't forget to wear your belt in every uniform. Girls, you can put your hair in a bun or braid them. C5. If it gets too cold outside, just wear your blue squadron t-shirt underneath your shirt. You can also roll your sleeve right above your elbow like so. Your rank goes right here. Now, let me introduce you to Copo Castelgay, who will tell you more about the importance to well wear your beret. Good day, Junior Wildcats. I am Corporal Castonguay, AVN Tech at 438 Squadron and NCM Volunteer with our Cadet Reporters at 338 Junior Wildcats Squadron. You'll be receiving your FTU soon, so your field training uniform, and the beret is going to be a critical part of that uniform. So I just want to make sure that you guys wear it properly, and uh, that, so I'm going to show you a bit how it works. First of all, you want to have your badge over your left eye, okay? And then you will want to have this little fold we got here over the top of the cardboard inside. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be looking for. This is pretty much the style that the Air Force usually wears. So that's what we're gonna be expecting from you guys to uh, to do. Should, should look about like this. Okay, the proper way to wear it is above your eyebrows. Okay, so not on them and not way back there. Okay, or else you're gonna look like this. I really just wanted to say as well, the importance of uh, wearing your beret properly is the same thing as the rest of your uniform, right? So that's sitting on your head, okay? It's this thing that you form well to sit on your head and it kind of decides what you look like, okay? As a person wearing a uniform. So keep it going, look sharp, make us proud. If it's summer and hot outside, you wear your C5-8 blue squadron t-shirt, cap, trousers, and boots. If it's cold, you wear your C5, your jacket, your blue t-shirt, your cap, your trousers, and your boots. C5F, bush survival. It's the same thing as your C5, but with your special hat. C5W. If it gets even colder, you wear your C5, but with your winter jacket, your gloves, and your toque. A few more things about your uniform. How should you properly wear your jacket? First, tie the two buttons on the top. Then, as you can see here, I have two strings. So, what you're gonna do is do a little knot with them and do the bunny ears. Then you're gonna make sure the knot right here goes completely, you pull it just like that so you make sure it's really, really stable. Then you twist it. Just like that, make sure it's kind of tight, but not too tight because you have to fit it in the button right here. So you put it right around your button just like so. Voila. And then you just tie your button like normally. And you do the same thing for this one. And then you're gonna go in the inside of your jacket and go from here to this button right here. And then you just re-put the button like you did for all the other ones. And you make sure it's all good. And voila, you're good to go. How should you properly blouse your trousers? 
The important thing to know about your trousers is that they have two layers. So the first layer, you're just gonna tuck it in your boots with the shoelace. Then you're gonna take these two strings and just tie it, just like that. Just do a little simple knot. Here you go, pull it all the way through until it's very secure. And then you're just gonna blouse your boots, just like that. Don't forget to tuck it in. Put them, shape them like that. And voila, you're all set. Finally, your brand new FTU boots. How should you lace them? Well, the answer is very simple. Herringbone method, like so. Two things to remember to make it easier when you lace them. First, the lace which is on the top should always point towards the big toe. So, if you look at my left foot, the lace on the top points towards the big toe. Second, the lace are always fed from the top of each eyelet, not underneath. Thank you cadets for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please follow us on our social medias, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Now here's what the FTU looks like in the field.